Hey guys, Dash here. We are playing uh, Kingdom the New Lands. I played the original Kingdom a couple months ago, and it was pretty fun. I got frustrated on a buggy loss one time, but I, I enjoyed it for what it was. So I saw that they released the New Lands. Um, I don't know much about it, uh, but I kind of wanted to get in and try it before I got spoiled too much by watching other people's gameplays. So. Oh, uh, let's give it a try. So if it's like uh, the previous one, you basically are a, ki are a king or queen without a land. Um, and you're trying to build your kingdom back up. Oh, this is new already. Uh, the old one didn't have ghosts. And you do different things to get coins and use those coins to build up buildings and hire soldiers and stuff. I don't know what all this one has that's different than the other one. So I'm going to approach it like the other one did. Um, and then go from there. So you buy tools so whenever you uh, recruit your peasants they can go pick up whatever tool you already have out there. And there's a little bit of strategy to that as well because they'll pick whichever weapon or whichever tool they come to first um, so you can't just like throw a bunch of hammers out there and then run out of uh, archers and that kind of thing but the archers early in the game will shoot rabbits which will get you gold coins and that's kind of one of your early ways to uh, get gold As you set up, you can queue up different fortifications to be built, and then any builders you have will work on those. So there's some different strategies. I haven't read on like what's most uh, effective, but some different things I've done. Um, there's strategies to where you try to control both sides of your kingdom at the same time versus maybe fortify one up large and then expand out the other side. Um, one thing that is kind of important, and I'm not sure if I can, how far I can get before it gets dark, is these little, uh, oh, that's not what I meant to click, these little tents with these citizens in them. Um, they'll keep spawning uh, peasants for you to hire as long as you leave those tents there, but once you go past it, uh, you can't recruit from them anymore. So you don't want to expand so fast that... Um, you can't keep recruiting citizens, but if you go too slow, you'll get overrun because I believe they don't I believe you get punished for turtling and not expanding quick enough either So there's a little bit of a strategy and a balancing act to it um, the new lands uh, Is a completely different game within Steam But so far it's looking pretty similar. So I'm not sure Let's see here. I've got peasants and no weapons to give them so what very well thought out Hey. So if you uh, earn gold sometimes, um, any of your citizens can pick them up as they walk by. And when you walk by those citizens, it will uh, they'll hand the gold over. So that is nice of them to do. Yeah, but as I was saying, I'm not sure if they just released a whole new executable when they introduced new lands instead of updating the old one or what the difference between the two games are on the base level. I assume the new lands let you expand further out because in the old one, you once you got to like a mountain wall, um, that was as far as you could go. At night, a lot of times your, um, your soldiers and uh, citizens will come back behind your closest wall and not go any further than that. You can set up you, any of these rocks you come across that have the three circles above them. You can set up as to be archery, um, like turret towers. They can be upgraded to be, to hold several archers. But this early in the game, that would take one of your archers you could use for roaming out of the picture. So that's not necessarily good either. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's new. Oh, no, never mind. The merchant was standing in front of a treasure chest. So the merchant itself's not new, but... Uh, only paying him one gold is. It used to be it cost three to do something. What's he doing? One gold for... What? What's he doing? This is different. I just paid him a gold and he's just walking away. I'm not sure what's going on. So before when you, you'd give money to the merchant, he would fill up one of your tool racks. It was kind of random which one it would be. So that was kind of the gamble on it. You could end up with someone giving you uh, a whole boatload of hammers so you're stuck with a bunch of builders when you actually need archers. But... 
this is different somehow to where um, I paid him a gold and he's just kind of wandering off. So I'm not sure what that's going to do for me. So I can't build here yet. As you build out, um, it kind of destroys the nature in the background. And at that point, you can build fortifications and stuff. So I need to take down some of these trees in order to build out this far. Don't run this way, dear. I just got you. Ah, forget the deer. I'm getting attacked. All right, get ready, Archer, dude. All right, so I got a decent amount of gold now. I'm going to go ahead and set up a tower here, even though I'm going to expand soon. But uh, I should be able to... The merchant's back in town. What did he do? I have no clue what he did. So there's something new with that. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm not sure if he put something out here in the woods, got something back from somewhere. That's a mystery still. I'll explore this way a little bit. This bridge is new. I don't think the old one had bridges. Everything in this direction is new. The other one didn't have a shipwreck either. What was that? Something just flashed. So I don't know what will happen when I upgrade the ship to something, but uh, I don't want to use my gold on it this soon already. I'd like to recruit more soldiers, but I don't know how far I have to go to find another peasant camp. More gold. Of course, you run into the point. I, it's, I don't think I'm there yet. Oh, I might be getting close. You can only hold so much gold at one time. So if you find some after you've already uh, hit your max, then uh, then you'll lose it. So this is new. So this is the maximum you can go here. So I didn't find any more peasant camps that further. And there was no horse in this direction. There's no enemy portals either so I'm not sure if enemies won't come from this direction that'll be interesting to watch or if they're pirates or something I don't know but in the other one there were actual portals set up so you could tell where the like the demon things were going to spawn from and I don't see any over here so this place is confusing me now because I thought peasants would spawn from this but I've not seen any there since the first part of the game so I am not sure now merchant dude I still don't know what you're doing for me I'm gonna keep up getting upgrading my town when I can because uh, catapults are good to have and looks like it's gonna let me build those now but they require builders which I only have one of these three post little walls aren't much fortification uh, but this early in the game it should be enough but they're not going to hold up too much longer you see that that one almost got knocked down completely as it was but that's as much as uh they should attack a knight this this point in the game who is this guy i don't know who he is but we'll give him some money oh wait that was a builder so i'm not sure who this herald looking guy is it's like a bard or something so the merchant, so what what happened before is there used to be a treasure chest that would show up in town and give you gold every day. Now it looks like the merchant's doing that for you, so maybe that's different. Yeah, this is going to be bad. So if I get attacked now, I don't know if my archers, if I have enough archers here to, to defeat them. But, I mean, things aren't that strong this early in the game. But if 10 things attack and there's nothing to slow them down. Oh. All right, so they stopped it, but it wasn't pretty. Got an achievement for making it through day five. So this new game reset all the achievements and stuff too good. At least I have one other builder now. Our walls built, our catapults ready, our builder is stable here. So I'm not going to mark him for uh, destruction yet, but I can start moving out this way a little bit more again now. If your king gets uh, gets attacked, it's kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog that if you're holding coins, uh, you'll take damage to your your money before you will your actual self. But if you get hit while you have no coins, your crown goes flying off, and if you don't recover your crown, that's game over. 
archers in this game aren't the best shot. It's kind of weird that they lob things up over the wall like that. But I don't know what this thing does, by the way. I've spent gold to upgrade in previous games, but I don't know what it does. But if we don't find anything better to spend our money on while we're out exploring, I might mark it on the way back. Oh, this is new. What is this? I guess it's only two gold. We'll see what it does. I don't know what that did for me. Did that unlock new territory to go into? Money, 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 money. Peasants. All right, so this is the must be the big portal because previously, ah, uh, Okay, that wasn't smart. Previously, that mountain was just uh, flat before, and you couldn't go in there, and the portals came from other areas. And I'll mark this rocket ship thing. I don't know what it does, but... Let's go ahead and do something with it anyway. So I wonder if finding the rockets what triggers you being able to upgrade your town hall further, or if it's just a time-based thing. I don't know. There's a lot of things in this game. They don't explain anything for you in this game, which is kind of fun. But kind of leaves you clueless at some things at, at the same time. It's fun to figure out things. It's not fun whenever people are going to watch the gameplay later saying, I can't believe you didn't do that. You're so dumb. But they don't explain anything. So that's part of the challenge of the game is figuring out what all the different uh, buildings and options do. All it does is give you a little coin slot and ask you if you want to throw coins at a problem. The merchant goes out here and sleeps out here? Is that what this whole thing is? The merchant earns gold out of his hovel when you send him out? I'm curious if finding that map earlier extended the area, so I want to explore a little bit. Okay, I don't think it... That may have been where we were at before, so I don't know. I guess the map didn't do that then. Unless I'm just imagining things. With the introduction of the bridges, I just wondered if every time uh, you find one of those maps, if it made the bridge longer or something. We've not found my horse upgrade yet either, so... They're doing things a little bit different in this version. I'm not, not sure um, what to expect yet. Alright, let's see what this does. I don't know what this will do. Does it give you a boat or something? Oh, maybe you do make a boat. So I'm getting pieces to a boat. I am curious about that, but I don't want to spend all of my money on it. I'm down to three coins, so I should probably not do that. I'm going to check my farmer, see what kind of gold I got hanging out there, and then check my defenses. Oh, no, that's not good. If I'm getting attacked this far in, that means everything I had on my left side is gone. Yep, and my banners moved to this wall now, so that means uh, <laughs> that means this is my border now, um, and I have no money at all. So my money I was going to get from my farmer, they just gave to the enemy. Everyone's here is waiting for a handout to uh, to rejoin. This is horrible. It may be game over soon. We'll see. So my merchant has some gold for me, so we'll see if I can uh, hire some of these guys and fortify my walls again. Don't build, not quit it. All right, so if I lost my catapult and builder guy from that side, I probably need a couple more builders. Out of gold again. So we'll see if we live for through the night now. Hey, thanks. Crap, those trees are still marked to be demolished, so he's going to try to run out there and do that. And there's no defenses way out here. You guys better hurry. You're going to get screwed. Alright, head back to town. Don't walk. 
Don't walk. Move faster. That's what I was afraid of. And then this farmer is gonna gonna eat it. Get back behind the wall, builder guy. Why'd you just stay in there? Dude, that's a lot of enemies. Oh no. I didn't think they'd actually make it through the wall. Dude. All right. Normally, I would just <laughs> quit at this point because once you start falling behind, it's hard to stay in it. But uh, I'll at least get to some sort of completion uh, with this playthrough. One archer versus an army. Two archers. Hey, we're in business now. Three archers. I have a chance. And he brought me money. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I can't keep replenishing this many guys every night. Oh, there goes my crown. I got it back, but all my citizens are screwed. Why'd you guys hang around on the, the wrong side of the wall for so long? <sighs> My archers can't hit anything. <laughs> well, I lived to day 10, just got the achievement for that, but uh, day 11 is not looking too promising. Is the merchant gonna give me money? Nope. I still haven't figured out the whole point of that yet. I'm paying him money to go out somewhere and then occasionally he throws money back at me, but it seems to be inconsistent. Get him, get him. That wasn't too bad, wasn't too bad. Alright. This catapult guy has better start walking faster. Because if we get attacked right now, it'll be bad. I'd like to upgrade my walls one more time, but I'm not going to have time to build them before night hits. At least I have a knight in my ranks now. Knights are good because uh, they can make enemies bounce off their shields. So it's not like one hit kill for everything that fights against you. Do I have time to upgrade again? It's probably dumb, but I've got three builders out here now. And only one of them's hitting. Come on, other builders. You don't have to stay on your catapult. That was a bad decision. I thought I could get this built in time. But they're coming now. Oh, no. Well, I just screwed my game. I'm just going to go down with the castle at this point. No, nah, my crown, my crown, my crown. Wah, wah, wah. Because I spent all that time building back up my defense. There's no point in staying on it there. So We made it to day 14. Well, we didn't do that great, but... We gave the new version a try. We'll see if we can do better later. Later.